So everyone, this is Matt Rosick, and this will be the next work in progress on the uh, custom Spider-Man. So I'm going to work on the cats and uh, the base. Hopefully the cats, um, hopefully I can get these done in one work in progress, otherwise the cats may just be one work in progress. <laughs> so I've never painted cats before, so my client sent me a couple of references. Uh, one's a Siamese, and the other one's a Tabby. So I'm just going to use this one as a re reference for the one that's sitting, because this one's sitting, and the eyes are open, and they're super pretty blue. So I've base coated this in a coat of white Steinol Res. Now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna base coat it in a coat of um, kind of a cream color. And then, I'm, I don't know how to do this, to be honest. So <laughs> this will be a learning experience for me. So uh, let's see what I got for a cream color. Um, that kind of matches that. I don't know if, um, what do I got? What do I got? Let's see. I don't really have a cream color. I'm gonna have to mix one up. Let's see. I'm thinking. What the heck do I got? I'm wondering if this um, medium African flesh might be a good starting point. I think I'm gonna airbrush most of this. We'll see, because there's a lot of soft edges. I'm gonna reduce this a little bit. Actually quite a bit. This is a medium African flush. A little dark for what I want, but it's all right. I got thinned down pretty good, so I'm gonna put on really, really light, to build it up. I think after this, I'm gonna go in and kind of airbrush the dark areas. And then there's some little stripe patterns on this fur. I think I'm gonna to try to do that with uh, just some dry brushing. So this is gonna be completely learning experience for me. Might as well be the very last. And this doesn't have to be completely opaque, to be honest. This can be kind of light. I'm gonna come down a little bit. Uh-oh. No, that's just my teeth controller. I guess we're going opaque. <laughs> kind of get made it opaque. So this is kind of like the mid-tone of the paws. The thing about these garage kits, US cars, is that they dry pretty much instantaneously once they hit the surface. 
enough to where you can handle them. So I'm able to kind of paint this and handle it at the same time. Got one little crevice right here. Paint in. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go in with the dark, uh, what I got? Brown, purple brown, a transparent smoke. That would actually be a really good color for transitioning. What else I got? A rich brown. The problem is I'm getting low on my garage kids that US colors. I've got a lot of colors that I don't use in, use a whole lot. Um, red, pearl black, tongue, transparent leather, transparent rich brown. All right, so I got some tie-in brown. I'm not sure how much of this I have in here. It actually, might not be the right color. This is. Yeah, it's kind of got gray in it. I don't want gray. I want really warm colors. The color I want, I don't know if I have enough of. Uh, I don't know if I have any of it. Just tell you around. Transparent burnt sienna, that'd be a good one. Sorry, I'm looking for colors here. Sepia, that's too red. do some searching for colors I'll be back okay so I'm doing now is I'm going in with some transparent rich brown and I'm gonna hit the all the areas that kind of are like on the I'm gonna hit the center of the face the ears and everything and the paws and then we'll go back over that with transparent black we'll build up the dark colors And the light fur. I'm not sure if I'm going to try airbrush that or just build up with dry brushing. dark. I think the tip of the tail is dark to me. I'll probably do the, the light skin or the light um, fur with a older brush. No big deal. Actually got, this actually comes up a little bit kind of in this area. I'm trying to hit the shadows, I guess. I just got some shading.
I'll get lightened up in a little while, but let's... All right, I gotta step away for a second. All right, so we're just adding some shading. So I have a little epiphany here. I think I may come in here with um, pastels. I'll get this kind of down. And then do the rest of those pastels. We're gonna give it a shot. We'll see what happens. I just have a hard, I have a, I have a feeling I have a hard time getting paint where I want with the airbrush without affecting other areas too much. So I'm gonna put this on. Transparent black. And kind of hit those areas. We'll add some transparent black to this color. So add a few drops of transparent black to that color. Don't drop the cat. We're establishing all these really dark areas. I'm gonna real light up the transparency but it cool super quick. Well, this is looking a little wonky right now, but I'm going to get them to pretty here in a little bit. So I'll put them on and I'll hit it with just air, let it dry for a second, hit it again, hit it with air, let it dry.
Let me get some of the deeper shadows of this color. Just real light. To get some shape. I'll just dry for a little bit before I seal it. Transparency take a little while to dry. Sticky. All right, so that's looking pretty good right now. Be happy with that. Once that dry, we'll seal it. We'll come back and we'll start lightening things up. All right, so I've got the cat sealed. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna start lightening these, some of these areas up. And I think we're gonna try this with uh, mostly dry brushing and stuff. So. Uh, we'll see how this goes <laughs> and then we'll go in with some pastels and stuff Give me one second. All right, sorry about that. Uh, so I got some kind of Tannish colors here. We're gonna work with we're gonna wake up work our way up Let me get my reference photo out again. So I have something to look at Okay so I still need to get, maybe make the, excuse me, I just say why I'm so burping. <laughs> I need to still make some of these uh, dark areas maybe a little bit darker, but um, I'm going to light in place here, sorry. Uh, but we, we'll do that later. So it's kind of a tannish color. I'm going to think I'm going to work my way up. I'm going to try, I think I'm going to start with this medium flesh tone. Put some on my palette here. This is a little on the yellow side, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I just posted photos of the Miles figure done, so my phone is blowing up with. Every time I post photos of something I've finished or in the work or in the middle of doing, I get a ton of <laughs> private messages and PMs asking about doing more work, which is great. Let's see, this bush is a little trash right now. I need a little, I need a little flat brush. That should do it. The bristles aren't very stiff on this. I, I like when I dry brush, I like to have a, a, a stiff bristled brush. It's just, um, makes it a little easier to control. All right, so I'm gonna come in here and start lightening this up a little bit. Trying to gonna avoid those areas where I got it really dark. Oops. Again, this color right here is a little on the yellow side, but again, you have to know how this is gonna react to all the other colors you have previously. So I'm going to put this in pretty heavily. I'm going along with the fur because I want to lighten it up overall. So I want to get some of that paint down in between the into the fur. I don't want to paint it solid, so that's why I'm kind of dry brushing it on, even though I'm going along with the, the grain of the fur. So I think today's goal is to get the cats done. I don't think I'll be able to get this and the base done today. I think these will these will take a while. <clears throat> I had a very long day yesterday uh, doing the red and the and the and the, uh, the webbing. It took me, like I said, I think I painted solid for like 15 hours, 
in my my I, I, so I went roller skating with my kids a couple weeks ago, like a month ago, and and I fell. I wasn't even roller skating, and I fell, and I hit really hard on my right side of my body, and I hit my wrist really hard, and it still hurts a month later. So um, I probably severely strained it. So sitting there and doing this all day to do the the webbing for 14 hours really jack really hurt. Actually, I had my my wife give me a hand massage because it was so bad. Okay, so I'm going to work on this like this for a while. Uh, I'm not going to do it all on camera because this, this could take a while to get the, the way I want it. But you notice I'm still maintaining all the shading underneath I did earlier. And again, because we're just putting on very thin layers, we're just going to build this up real slowly. Like I said, I don't want to put this on in one solid layer because I'll cover up all that shading I did. So again, you just got you just got to work slow, build it up. And that's why these takes this, this stuff like this takes forever because you just you're just doing it a little bit at a time. So I'm gonna do this, and then when I get it to what I like, I'll come back. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, so I got some kind of tannish colors here. We're gonna work with. We're gonna wake up, work our way up. Let me get my reference photo out again, so I have something to look at. Okay. So I still need to get maybe make the. Excuse me, I just ate lunch, so I'm burping. <laughs> I need to still make some of these uh, dark areas maybe a little bit darker. But um, I'm gonna lighten the place here. Sorry. Uh, but we, we'll do that later. So it's kind of a tannish color. I'm gonna think I'm gonna work my way up. I'm gonna try. I think I'm gonna start with this medium flesh tone. Put some on my palette here. It's a little on the yellow side, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I just posted photos of the Miles figure done, so my phone is blowing up with. Every time I post photos of something I've finished or in the work or in the middle of doing, I get a ton of <laughs> private messages and PMs asking about doing more work, which is great. Let's see, this bush is a little trash right now. I need a little, I need a little flat brush. That should do it. The bristles aren't very stiff on this. I, I like when I dry brush, I like to have a, a, a stiff bristled brush. It's just, um, makes it a little easier to control. All right, so I'm gonna come in here and start lightening this up a little bit. I'm trying to gonna avoid those areas where I got it really dark. Again, this color right here is a little on the yellow side, but again, you have to know how this is going to react to all the other colors you have previously. So I'm going to put this in pretty heavily. going along with the fur because I want to lighten it up overall. So I want to get some of that paint down in between the into the fur. I don't want to paint it solid so that's why I'm kind of dry brushing it on even though I'm going along with the, the green of the fur. I think today's goal is to get the cats done. I don't think I'll get this and the base done today. I think these will these will take a while. <clears throat> I had a very long day yesterday uh, doing the red and the and the and the, uh, the webbing. It took me, like I said, I think I painted solid for like 15 hours. And my 
my I, I, so I went roller skating with my kids a couple weeks ago, like a month ago, and and I fell. I wasn't even roller skating, and I fell, and I hit really hard on my right side of my body, and I hit my wrist really hard, and it still hurts a month later. So um, I probably severely strained it. So sitting there and doing this all day to do the the webbing for 14 hours really jack really hurt. Actually, I had my my wife give me a hand massage because it was so bad. Okay, so I'm gonna work on this like this for a while. Uh, I'm not gonna do it all on camera because this this could take a while to get the, the way I want it. But you notice I'm still maintaining all the shading underneath I did earlier. And again, because we're just putting on very thin layers, we're just gonna build this up real slowly. Like I said, I don't wanna put this on in one solid layer because I'll cover up all that shading I did. So again, you just gotta, you just gotta work slow, build it up. And that's why these takes this, this stuff like this takes forever because you just you're just doing it a little bit at a time. So I'm gonna do this, and then when I get it to what I like, I'll come back. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way this is looking. Um, so now I'm gonna go in with a. Just gonna get more light on this. I'm gonna go in with a lighter tone, and we're gonna kind of do the same thing. There we go. So that was um, medium flesh. Now I'm gonna go in with this um, uh, elfic flesh. It's pretty pretty bright, um, but again, we gotta look at what we have underneath to see how it's gonna react. So this is pretty 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 bleh, 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 pretty bright, <laughs> but it's got a little bit of tint to it. So I'm gonna. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe my brush off. I'm going to wipe it off on the same spot that I wiped off the previous color. And what it's going to do is it's going to pick up a little bit of that previous color. And hopefully it'll help blend it in. So again, now when I did this last color, I went along the grain like this. I'm going to do the same thing here. You know, I'm, I'm doing more than dry brush. I'm kind of scrubbing this paint in. I want to kind of get some down in between the fur, but the tops of the fur is going to get hit more than the lower sections. And I'm just going over everything because I'm maintaining all that shading I did. And again, you just got to do a little bit at a time. I just can't go in here with a, a full brush and do this. So it's just a little bit of doing this, building it up. See right there, I got a little too much on there at one time. And I'm not going all the way down the paws, I'm just kind of going down to right about here on the paws. That's where it blends in. Break. <laughs> oh, that would have sucked. So again, I'm just going to do this until I get the look I want. And then I'll come back. Okay, so I was dry brushing on there and it's kind of getting where I want, but it's not doing exactly what I want. So I took that same color and I thinned it down to my airbrush a little bit. And I'm going to airbrush this on. Uh, Real light building this up. I think this is the, the color I want. I'm just not getting the effect I want. down pretty good. I don't have a whole lot coming out of my airbrush. I'm just going to build this up. I got my needle stop pushed in pretty far.
kind of went backwards. I should probably airbrushed on first and then gone in and done some dry brushing. But what's happening is I'm not, I'm not getting enough coverage with the dry brushing how I want it. And also, even though this is from Ownage, the dry brushing is starting to show some print, uh, print lines. Um, you can see them right here in the chest, they're going, they're going this way. So even though this is from Ownage, there are, there are still print lines. I try to minimize that. So I'm just going to do this, I'm going to build this up real slowly. And also, just to let you know, I thin Vallejo, Vallejo colors with Mr. Color Thinner. I don't thin it with acrylic. Um, it was a tip that someone gave me a long time ago, and they spray much nicer. No dry tip. So I thin it with Mr. Color Thinner, and it works. I'm going to do this until it's uh, built up the way I want and I'll come back. Okay, so now we're starting to get somewhere. Starting to look kind of like a Siamese cat. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in with the, um, uh, where is it? The rich brown. And kind of go back over some of the areas that we just hit because I kind of, kind of got a little too much white on some of those areas. So we're going to, Come back and blend it in again, get the shadows a little bit. And sculpt in the skull, so we're gonna really bring it out. I think I did a killer job on this. Yeah, this is good. So, doing this and just kind of letting the overspray kind of go over the whole piece, we really kind of get the tone we want. It's not white, it's got a little bit of warmth to it. I think I killed that a little bit when I airbrushed on this last color. So we'll bring it back.
and we'll go like a Siamese cat. It might really lightly miss over um, a little bit of. I'll try it on the on the bottom side here. Um, some nicotine yellow, just to tint it just ever so slightly. See what I'm doing here. We're kind of getting up in the eye sockets, but I didn't really get that in there very good. Pretty good. I'm not sure if I want to do um, nicotine yellow, may not be the right color. Um, let me see what that looks like on my paper here. Mm. I'm going to do a little bit on the bottom here so it looks like just real light. Maybe if I just back way off. Uh, leather tan may do good too, just to warm them up a little bit. get some more. This is like one of my favorite colors is this leather tan. I'm just missing out a little bit of leather tan just to knock down the brightness of the overall piece. Add a little bit of warmth to it. Put a little bit more on, then we go seal it. Then we go into some pastels and really hit the, the darkest, darkest areas on the paws and the face and the tips of the ears. Because I think we'll get away with the eyes. really sharp so I'm going to seal this and we'll come back and finish up with the fur and then we'll put the eyes in. Alright so we went and sealed this guy and now we're going to go in with some pastels pretty dark and we're going to hit like um, the front of the face. I'm going to do pastels because I don't want to get overspray of this color on anything. So 
So this will still maintain the color underneath. Just going to darken it quite a bit. I'll come above the eyes a little bit. I'm going to come up this way a little bit. And that's really it for the face. The ears are pretty black. Go from the top down. Now there is a little bit of pink on the inside, so we'll probably go back and hand brush that just a little bit. I'm gonna bring this down quite a bit. The backs of them are pretty black. Again, this is just my reference, my guide. Sorry if you can't see what I'm doing, I go off camera every once in a while so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just hitting the tips of the paws here so they're pretty dark. And I think that's going to be about it. I may come in here with a little graveyard dirt. Okay, I've got like two colors I use. They seem to work well for everything. <laughs> Underneath the chin a little bit. Got a little more shading here and there. Actually, the cheeks come out. Pretty light brown all the way out here. The little white specks again. You get those every once in a while for some reason. Looking pretty good, I think. All right, so I'm pretty happy with the fur. I think that looks like a Siamese cat. So I'm going to seal this, and then we'll put the eyes in, and then I might. Do just a touch of pink up in the, in the ears. It's like a rose, light rose color. I'm gonna bring some of this up to the side of the arm here. Yeah, he's looking good. Uh, another round of sealer and we'll come back. Okay, I went back in after I sealed that with a little more of the transparent um, leather tan to add a little more brown here and there because I kind of got lost some of the brown stuff. But here he is. I think I'm going to try something I've never tried before. I think I'm going to try to airbrush these eyes. Um, we'll see. <laughs> uh, I want to mask them off with Silly Putty first and then he edges I'll clean up with uh, some black liner so I think I can kind of do a mask these off dirty 
Dirty means just doing it quick. Uh, if I can find a toothpick. Didn't ever have ready when I need one. Just keep a little jar of toothpicks on the bench. I just want to make sure I get white. I want to make sure I get color all on the the um, the eyeball itself, and then I can clean up the edges with black. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the look I want. I'm gonna actually do. Um, Probably a, me a metallic blue. Yeah, I think we're gonna do we're gonna do this. I'm not gonna worry about getting the silly putty right up to the eyeball because I'll have an edge on the actual eyeball, and I don't want that. Kind of get this. I have a plan. We'll see if it works. So I'll get this covered and I'll come back. All right, so we got this scary looking cat now. <laughs> so we got this mask, pretty, it's not super clean. Uh, like I said, I don't wanna get the sleep putty right to the eyeball. Uh, Cause I'll go back in with black and outline the eye in black. But this allows me to go in there and airbrush um, these eyes. I'm gonna start off with uh, one of these cool gray colors. Cool gray number three. And this is to just to block out the all the dark colors from doing the fur. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a metallic on top of this. And then we'll do a candy. I hope I have a clear blue that kind of get the effect I want. Okay, let's see what we got for... I do have garage kits, metallic blue. I think it's too dark. See. It actually might be what I want. Let's see what it looks like. This actually might be the right color. Let's check it out. This is a garage kids that US metallic blue. Actually, the right color. Sweet.
make them a little darker than necessary. Maybe they the hair dryer. Let's take that sleep play off, see what it looks like. It's a little freaky right now, so I'm gonna go seal this. They're gonna outline the eyes in black and then we'll put the irises in and then we'll clear coat them. So I'll seal them and come back. Okay, so I outlined the eyes, I put the irises in. I think it's looking pretty good. Um, the only thing I see differently on the reference is the outside of the eyes are a little brighter, so I may try to go in and do that a little bit, uh, real lightly. I won't be able to do it on camera because I think it's super close. So I'm gonna try that a little bit and see what it looks like. Okay, so I think the eyes are there. I just went around the edge with some very light white and just kind of added some shape to it. And I think they look good. So I'm gonna gloss these and I think he's done. So um, I'll come back after that and we'll see what it looks like. All right, there's my first cat. I think it looks pretty good. So we'll do the second one. This one took several hours. So the next one will take several hours too. But uh, I think it looks pretty good. So um, we'll work on the next one starting now. Okay, so I sent a photo of that. Uh, the Siamese cat to my client, he loves it. Um, thanks onto the tabby cat. So this one, uh, it's got all sorts of different colors on it. Luckily, this one, the eyes are close, so I don't have to pay the eyes. <laughs> so I just gotta do the fur. Um, so I think on this one, I'll probably start with the white, airbrush that on, and then I'll go in and airbrush all these other tones in. So I'll go from light to dark, I'll do the white, then kind of the orange, and then the black and brown. And uh, we'll go from there. The nose is pink. Uh, so yeah, so first color, I think I'm gonna go do this other, this kind of cream color I had going on for the last one, if I can find, I have it somewhere in your cup. Here it is. Gotta get rid of the metallic blue first. I don't want a blue cat. That would be funny. Get rid of the blue on my airbrush. So this is the um, what is this? Elfic flesh tone. Again, it's a Vallejo color. Into the Mr. Color Center. Took a couple of toes because it's been pretty, pretty thin right now. I think I can hold it by the tail and work with it. He sculpted a lot of texture in them, which is really nice. And oh, they did a great job of capturing all the detail in their print. So I'm going to do this and I'll come back when it's all done. Okay, so I really didn't record any of the rest of this cat, but here he is. I just went with the airbrush with some clear oranges, clear yellows, black, uh, white, and just went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then this is what we got. So pretty happy with that. Um, a little pink nose, some pink in the ears. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna call the cats done. Uh, I'll send a picture of this to my client, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm happy with it. It was looking a little tiger stripey there for a while, and then I went in and did some more uh, highlighting and stuff with the clear colors, and that's what kind of brought it all together. So I'm gonna call this work in progress done. Uh, it's just the cats, and then the uh, last work in progress will be the base. So uh, as always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.